Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for you. Today I want to show you my favorite envelopes. And I start with a beautiful piece of paper. I don't know why I really like this one. It's kind of got the flowers and the grunge going on. I might trim this my won't coffee dye the back because I'm going to line this and I found this um, music paper music sheets at the thrift store and wow I decided when I saw the inside how busy it is I decided this was going to be my go-to for my um, envelopes. So, yeah, I love making these envelopes. The first time I saw somebody make them like this, I think it was Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. And, yeah, she did an amazing job, and I just really liked what I saw there so hardest part is picking a page I guess and removing it wow that looks so good makes me wish I knew more about music Oh, and that was Hayden. Wow, looks so classy. All right, so then it's going to good use, I promise. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I would decide how big I want my envelope to be. And the biggest it can be is the smaller of the two papers here. So then I would probably glue it just enough so that it doesn't come apart when I sew it. Now you don't have to sew it, you could just use glue. Um, I sew it because I like the um, I like the the design of the thread. The stitches, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm looking for my my glue. So yeah, I sew mine, but I'm going to show you how to do this without. Okay, so that should be enough glue to have it not move on me. So then I have to decide if I want to cut away the borders and I probably will. I'll do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, I decided to not sew this one so I could show you exactly how I'm going to do this one. Isn't that pretty? You can even see the music paper behind coming through. So, because I'm going to glue it now, I'm going to ink it. And I might just round the corners the slightest bit. Just the tiny one. And then after I'll show you some of the ones I've sewn. Okay, so you have to decide which is up, which is down. Um, I t 
tend to go with like the music paper what it says if I mean the flowers the the pretty paper I pick is usually non-directional so then I go by the one on the inside now you can do either way you can have either one outside and then the other one will be lining it so um, I think I'm going to do this way for this one and I just put it up leaving a generous flap amount there so I will fold it roughly there and then this will come down and I want to leave some room there for putting things into the envelope okay now I have to glue it a bit more because I'm not going to sew this one so I just want to make sure these pages are not going to come apart so I'm just going to run some glue on the edges not to get it on the table it's probably better to decide to glue it before you, you know you get to this stage but what can I say sometimes I'm not the best at thinking ahead Okay, almost done. Okay. All right, so if I was sewing this, now I would sew around the whole thing. Okay, Be instead of gluing the edges like I just did. Anyways, I'll just show you or explain how I would sew. So I would sew all the way around the whole rectangle and then I would fold this up and then I would sew this part to the bottom. So then I would sew up here and I would sew up here. Leaving this part open of course because that's where we're going to put things. So yeah, easy peasy and uh, love it it's so pretty okay i'm gonna ink this first and i'll be right back and do that okay so i have inked it and now all i have to do is glue this part down so how are you doing today what is on your craft table I have too much to talk about. <laughs> All right, so then put the edges together. Now, if you wanted the look of sewing without actually sewing, I think you know how to do that by now. You could stamp it on, you could draw it on. Um, I don't usually worry about a closure for this. I mean, I, I could tie it. But I usually attach it to my journal with a paper clip. That, or I will put it in the package that has the journal in it because this is a very sturdy envelope when it's done. And so it will hold a lot of things. So if I want to include any extras in with the journal, like Happy Mail, then I will do that. Speaking of happy mail, if you don't mind posting the, uh, or paying the extra postage, you put a label on here and this would probably make a really nice 
um, envelope for Happy Mail too. But yeah, that's what I do with mine. So I'm really happy that I got to see those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, since I did just glue this, I'm thinking I might want to have the faux stitching going on here. So I will, let's see, don't really want to do zigzag. I grab my ruler. This will look way too perfect or not convincing at all, but Apparently the girls in the youth group are really enjoying the journals, so I think I'll be okay to be able to get these out right away. Okay, I don't think, yeah, I didn't do there. Down the side. And let's not forget under here. Okay. So something like that. And then you can put like, this is really quite large. One, two, three, four, almost five inches deep. And um, eight inches across. You don't get the full because you've um, glued it or sewn it so you lost a little bit but it's definitely about seven inches by five so it could make a nice envelope for a real five by seven card if i had wanted to do that i could have just um made the the flap a little bit smaller also you could totally do this and make smaller envelopes i just really like the fact that you know the the music sheet is so large that it will cover a whole eight and a half by eleven inch piece of paper, and like this is to me this is like a specialty envelope, and so that's why I'm making them so large because they will fit in my journal, and they will take up like the whole room. I'll just show you in my ideas journal. It's the only one I have right now. Pretty sure I put one in here already. My ideas journal is getting kind of full. Hmm. That's odd. I don't see one. So much other stuff. I don't think I've kept up with my ideas journal. <laughs> Oops. I'll have to get back to that. I've got other envelopes in here, so maybe I didn't think that was necessary. Or maybe I forgot. But I already have something with this. So what I'll do is I'll take one that I sewed. This one is music paper and I backed it or lined it with packing paper. So there you can see that it's sewn. It's not inked yet, but I can put that in here. Like so, and then I'll remember that I've made some. So yeah, that's my ideas journal. All right, what else? 
I did this one. I put the music paper on the inside for this one and then I sewed it. Also not inked yet. They don't all have to be inked either. And this one I also lined with the paper, the pretty paper on the inside. Um, I think I decided to put the music sheet on the outside because Camtown Races is, well, it was very popular when I grew up, so. And one more. This has a lighter one and it has the paper on the outside and the music paper on the inside. This is part of a learning music, like an instructional book, so. So yeah, these are fun to make. They don't take very long, surprisingly. I think they actually go together really fast if you do sew them. But totally up to the individual how they would like them done, so. I do hope that um, you might give that a try. Like I said, you can pick whatever paper you want. Um, I just happen to really like um, the music paper. So, Anyways, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.